Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a long sleeve Barbie sweater. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be working on a knitted Barbie sweater, long sleeve one. You are going to need some yarn. Today I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. It is a four ply medium weight. Okay, uh, the color is true blue, but it's ombre, so it kind of changes color. See what it's doing there? You're gonna need a pair of scissors, darning needle, and you're gonna need your knitting needles. Now these are 3.75 millimeter knitting needles, okay? Let's get started. So you start by making a slip knot. Now everyone does this a bit different. I'm gonna show you my way. You wanna leave a good length of tail because you're gonna use it to sew. So I cross my yarn. Where it crosses, I hold. I put the tail around the loop and then I pull the tail through the loop that I made. And there we go, I got a slip knot. Do it however you're comfortable doing it. Now using your working yarn, now you left a big tail, so make sure you're using your working yarn and not your tail. We're gonna cast on 14 stitches, okay? So, you can use whatever cast on you prefer. I'm gonna show you what I do. So I start by just doing a knit and putting it on my needle, but then I go in between my stitches. See what I'm doing here? So I'm not going in a stitch, I'm going in between my stitches. Yarn over, I pull through in between, put it on the needle, and then I do that again. I was taught to do this many years ago and I was told it gives you a looser cast on. And so I just have always cast on that way since then. So you wanna cast on 14 stitches. <clears throat> and we're working this sweater from the bottom up, okay? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and I always double count. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay, so now we're going to work a ribbing stitch. And the ribbing stitch we're doing is knit one, pull through, pop off, bring your yarn to the front, go in the next stitch, pull through, pop off, yarn to the back. And this is a knit pearl ribbing. And we're gonna do that for a total of three rows. This counts as row one and then we're gonna do it for a total of three rows. So keep track on your stitch counter, keep track on a piece of paper, whatever works. Do that and then meet me back. Okay, so I did my three rows of ribbing. It goes by really fast because you're not doing a lot of um, stitches. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the body of the sweater. So we are going to knit across the first row, just total knits. Okay, we're knitting. So in the stitch, yarn over, pull through, pop off, yarn over, pull through, pop off. Yarn over, pull through, pop off. <clears throat> okay, so we're just gonna do a straight knit row. And then 
to get our pattern, our pattern is going to be on the purl row. So, we are going to get to the end of this row. Okay, so we're going to turn our work. And now we're going to do a purl row, but we're it's not all purl. So we're going to purl five. So your yarns in the front, go through two, three, four, and five. We're going to knit four, and this is going to give us our nice texture. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to go back to purl and we're going to purl the last five. Now these two rows you're going to do for a total of 10 rows. So we've done two rows and now you're going to do a straight knit row. See how we get a little bit of texture there? Okay, so this next row is row three of the body and we're just going to knit all the way across. And you're going to do, like I said, those two rows, knit one row, purl, knit, purl for the next row. And you're going to do those for 10 rows. So do that and meet me back. So this row is a knit row. The next one will be purl, knit, purl. So purl five, knit four, purl five. And that'll be row four. So you want a total of 10 rows. Do that, meet me back. Okay, so I did the 10 rows. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our sleeves. So like I showed you before, we're gonna have to cast on and we're gonna go between the stitches and we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pop that on. We're gonna add 12 stitches. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Okay, so 14 plus 12 is 26 stitches, right? 14 plus 12, 26. So count to make sure you have the right amount. And now I want you just to, to knit across this whole row, keeping with our pattern, okay? And then meet me back. Okay, so I knit across my row. I turned my work. Now we're on the purl row, okay? But we have to build our other sleeves. So once again, we are just going to cast on 12 stitches, okay? So go between your stitches and we're going to cast on 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight, 
12. Okay, so we had 26 plus 12 would be 38. So make sure you have 38 stitches. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. Perfect. Okay, so now our purl row is going to get a little more complicated. We are going to knit three, whoops, okay, so we're knitting three, one, two, and three, we're going to purl, whoa, 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 let's try that again. Don't drop your stitches. We're going to purl two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to our design there. 11, 12, 13, 14. You're going to purl. Okay. And then we're to our design. So now we're going to switch to knit. We're going to knit four. One. Two, three, four. Okay, that's to give us our, our design there. Then we can go back to purl to the last three, and the last three we're going to knit. So, purl. To the last three. And then we're going to knit. <clears throat> if you haven't had a chance, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. I try and do new videos every Thursday, so check back on Thursdays. And I do have a playlist. I'll put a link in the description for Barbie clothes, both knit and crochet. So check those out. Okay, so I'm on my last three stitches, so I'm just going to turn to knit. So yarn to the back, and we're going to knit those last three. So that helped us build our sleeves. So now what we're going to do to give our sleeves um, some width, and see we kept with the design. Isn't it cute? Okay, so to keep with the, to add some width to our sleeves, we're going to repeat, we're going to do knit and the purl row, row, which is what I just showed you. And then we'll knit and we'll do a purl row and then we're going to make the, the head opening, okay? So, knit, purl row, knit row, purl row. And purl row is where you knit the three. You purl two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You purl fourteen, knit four, purl fourteen, knit three. Okay. And eventually I will have a written pattern and I will put a link for it in the description. Um but until I get it, just just remember to do that. Okay, so we're gonna do knit. Pearl row, knit row, pearl row. Okay, and then meet me back. 
Okay, so here we go. We've done the four rows. Now we're gonna make the head opening. And isn't it looking cute so far? So the reason we're doing the knit three at the beginning of each row is to give this kind of cuff-like impression. And then we've got our design down the middle and our ribbing. I think it looks fabulous. Okay, so let's do our neck opening. So we are going to knit Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We're gonna knit sixteen, okay? So knit sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. To make sure you got the right number of stitches, you want to be one before our pattern, okay? Now we're going to cast off six, and here's how you do that. So we're going to knit that one and that one, and that this one is going to go over top. So that's one cast off. We're going to knit the next one, and this one will go over, and that's two cast off. We're going to do that again, and this is three cast off. We're going to do it again, and that's four cast off. We're going to do that again, and that's five cast off, and we're going to do one more, and that's six cast off. Okay, now we're going to knit to the end of the row, and that is our head opening. Okay, so just knit to the next. And now our pearl rows are going to change, but let's finish our neck. So we knit to the end. And then we are going to Then we are going to do, 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 turn our work and we're on our pearl row with this space here. So we are going to knit those first three like we've been doing just to stay with pattern. So one, two, three. We're going to purl to this stitch, okay? Excuse me. So purl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so we're at the space now. We're going to turn our work again and we're going to cast on. Now, I'm going to show you how to cast on this because if you don't do it like this, you're going to get a little gape. So we're going to go into our stitch just like we're going to knit. Yarn over, pull through. And we're gonna do that for six stitches. So this is two, three, four, five, and 
six. We're gonna turn our work and we're gonna continue purling to the last three stitches, okay? Make sure that's nice and tight. You don't want a big gape there. So, purl to the last. And we're no longer doing the design. The back of this sweater is just plain, okay? So I'm gonna show you what we're doing now to go back. Um, so we're gonna purl to the last three and knit the last three. Okay, to the last three, knit the last three. One, two, Okay, turn your work. Okay, so now what you're going to do is we have to do those four rows again, okay? So you're going to do knit a row, and then for your purl row, you're going to knit three, purl all the way to the last three, and then knit the last three. So you're going to do that for four rows, okay? So knit a row, purl a row, knit a row, purl a row. And on your purl row, it is going to be knit three, purl all the way to the last three, and then knit those last three, okay? But that's the front of our sweater. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. Okay, do what I said, and then meet me back. Okay, so now we are pretty much done our sleeves, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to cast off 12. So just like I showed you before, you are going to knit two and bring that first one over. So that's casting off one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, ele oops, eleven, and twelve. Now you're going to knit to the end of this row. all the way across the sleeve. Because if you remember when we did the sleeves, we did them on different rows. And this will make it so that they're even. So we're knitting. the end of this row. Okay. And then we're going to turn our work and we'll cast off 12 for the other row. Just in case you knit faster than I do which wouldn't be hard because really I'm a fast crocheter, not a fast knitter. So we're turning our work and we're gonna cast off 12. So we knit two, three, 
two. So cast off one, two. I'm just going to cast off and knit. It won't make a difference. Three, because this will be seamed up. Four. Five. Six. Seven. But if you want to cast off in pearl, that's fine. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Bring that yarn to the front and we're going to purl the rest of the row. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit different than we did in the front. So for the body of the back, you're going to knit a row, purl a row, for a total of 10 rows. So this row does not count. Okay, so turning our work. Now we're gonna knit a row, purl a row, knit a row, purl a row for 10 rows, okay? Do that and meet me back. Doesn't it look so adorable? I love it. Okay, do that, meet me back. So I've done the back, the back body right here. So now we're going to do the three rows of ribbing. And just to remind you, it's knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. And we're going to do that for three rows. Do that and meet me back. Okay, so I have done my three rows and now we're just gonna cast off again. You can just cast off in knit. It doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter to me. If you wanna cast off in ribbing, you can do that too. It's just you cast on and knit, so I don't see why you can't cast off and knit. So we'll cast off and knit. Sew up our sides and then we're done. It's not a really hard sweater and it's certainly gets you to practice all kinds of aspects of knitting, right? Because you're casting on, you're casting off, you are um, doing knits, you're doing purls, you know, like it's, I think it's a good little sweater for teaching you all the basics. And you can make it in like every color. I should warn you, this, when you use this, when you, if you give it to kids or whatever, it slips on over the head. So put the Barbie's arms up and slip it over, over the head. And at first it seems tight, but it really will loosen with play. Okay, once you get to the end, leave a bit of a tail. Cut your yarn, pull through the loop. And there you go. You got your Barbie sweater. This is the right side. That's your front and that's your back. So put it right sides together. <clears throat> and whichever is your longest tail, that's the one you'll use for sewing up. 
And when I stop my sides, I put, oops, first I have to thread the needle. Okay. So when I sew up the sides, I match them and I always put an extra stitch at that beginning here because that's going to get tugged on the most, right? So I put two stitches there and then I just whip stitch, which is you always go from the same side and you just go up. So see, I kind of caught one side and then the other side. <clears throat> okay, and we're just going to whip stitch up the sides. And then... You're going to go whip stitch up the sleeves. And again, at the end of the sleeve, I always do an extra couple of stitches because that's where it's going to have a lot of tugging. And those little Barbie fingers, like, like the thumbs and stuff, like to get caught. So there's bound to be extra tugging there. Um, I should also say at this point that don't forget to check my description. I put all kinds of links for all kinds of goodies in there. Um, links to other Barbie patterns, links to crafting journals, links to my Etsy store where you can buy patterns and such. So make sure you check that description. And also, I would love to hear where people are from that are watching these videos, it always amazes me how far and wide. Okay, so I'm at the end there, so I'm just gonna do a couple extra stitches. And you see how I put my finger in so that it keeps the stitching kind of flat? I'm just gonna go down a bit and do a knot. So yeah, leave, leave a comment about where you're watching from. I always find it very interesting. Um, okay, so we're going to do a knot. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to make a loop. Okay, see my loop? I'm going to go through the loop once, through the loop twice. I'm going to pull tight. <clears throat> and you never cut where you're not. So now I'm just going to go through some stitches. Okay, cut that, and then I'll go back and hide this thread, and then I'm going to go and sew up the other side. And then you're done, guys. Yeah, and it's it wasn't too painful, I don't think. And your kids or even collectors, a lot of collectors buy my Barbie clothes, and they put it on there. Collector Barbie dolls. Yeah. So, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. I try and post a new video every Thursday. They're not always Barbie videos, but you can check back to see if there's any Barbie things. And, uh, yeah. Have a great day. Bye now.